Welcome back YouTube. Uh, got my vacuum pump hooked up here and I got it hooked to a valve and it's in series with my um, micron gauge and back to the center of my manifold the yellow and the blue I got connected to the low side and what we're going to do is we're going to pull this thing down um, and hopefully I can get the 500 microns so I'm going to get started on that right now. We still got some nitrogen in here I got to bleed that out and then we'll see what we what we get what I'm doing right now is I, I loosen the hose here and I'm bleeding the nitro, uh, nitrogen out of the system and when I get down to about 5 psi I'm going to close off the valve. Right now I got this manifold valve open uh, we want to leave a little bit of pro positive pressure in there. We don't want any air to get in the system. Uh, the vacuum pump will only have to pump it out. But uh, we'll leave a little bit of a positive pressure in there and then we'll turn the vacuum pump on. You have to continually turn this thing off to see what the true pressure is in there. Still has about a little over 50, about 55 pounds. All right, I hope I can get through this today because uh, we got some weather moving in here. It's time in the afternoon. We got some dark clouds out there, and. Uh, of course, I don't want to be leaving a vacuum pump running in the uh, rain. Hopefully, get down to 55 micron, uh, 5500 microns, and then I can shut shut it off and disconnect the uh, vacuum pump. Welcome back, YouTube. Uh, I've got my vacuum pump hooked up. I've been pumping over an hour. And uh, only down to about 800 microns. I know I don't have a leak because this thing was under pressure. Had about 150 pounds in it for uh, three or four days. Didn't didn't leak any of the uh, nitrogen. So uh, I was down to 790. It's been uh, an hour and a half already only down to 800 I did change the oil in the uh, vacuum pump and I did try a different vacuum pump I have another vacuum pump so it's not the vacuum pump no leaks in any hoses I've checked that out I've changed out every hose I had uh, if you look at this thing you'll see that it's connected to the Yeah. It's in series with the uh, vacuum gauge connected to uh, my port, my um, yeah, manifold, and uh, it's through the uh, low port that we're evacuating right down there. And I got a temperature meter set up if I ever get down to 500. I need to put about um, ten and a half pounds of uh, R410 in this thing. It's um, it needs twelve and a half pounds. I'm going to start at around ten and a half pounds, and then I'm going to sneak up, uh, uh, you know, to whatever it needs to uh, uh, reach its subcooling of uh, twelve. But uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get 500. And it is fresh oil in there, and I'm suspicious of that oil I put in there. I got it from uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts. It's a generic oil. It's just in a plastic bottle. Um, could be that there are differences in the viscosity of the oil 
and depends on who you get it from I don't know I would imagine if the oil is a little too thin that it's not going to pull that the vacuum pump's not going to pull uh, as if uh, it had a thicker oil in it everything else I've swapped out changed out clean the micro micron gauge checked it by capping it off it goes all the way down to 50 microns so it's not the micron gauge none of the hoses no leak in the system so I don't know bobbles right now from 800 to 790 I'm gonna give it another half an hour or so see if it gets down to like 750 hopefully it will and um, Hopefully I'll get to filling this thing tonight. What time is it? It's 5 o'clock now. It's dark around 8, so i got about 3 hours. I do want to get some Freon in it tonight. And we'll see what happens here. Welcome back, YouTube. I finally got down to close to 500 microns. It's getting dark out, so I was around like bobbling between 600 and 550 so I declared it good enough what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm filling it with liquid by the way R410 has to always be put in in the liquid form upside down tank upside down uh, this tank started out at uh, 24 pounds even and now it's uh, around 18 so we've got uh, six pounds in here so far and uh, I haven't turned the condenser power on yet I don't want the uh, condenser running just yet I'm gonna get uh, around 10 pounds in here uh, like I said before around 10 pounds and that would be uh, 13 and a half pounds here on the uh, scale oh, and I gotta rock this thing every once in a while it's good it's got a battery shut off that's a pain in the ass you gotta you know you gotta lift the whole tank up every time it goes into battery saver mode so anyway uh, around 13 pounds it'll probably run right now I think I heard the pressure switch close uh, inside the uh, condenser the low pressure switch so it'll run right now but I got a little bit more in here before uh, I turn it on and uh, like I said, it's liquid going in there, so once I uh, decide I'm going to turn it on, I'll turn off the uh, input. By the way, the input's to the manifold here. It's to the tank. Tank's upside down, and we're filling through the low side, which is the blue line, low side. I've got the high side attached, but I don't have the... Uh, the manifold valve is closed, which it should be, okay? We're only going to read pressure on the high side. On the low side, the blue side, uh, it's open now because I'm filling, okay? But uh, later, we'll close it and we'll only open when we want to meter in some, some more um, R410, some refrigerant. All right, so we're at 15 pounds here right now. 13 and a half would be 10 pounds. So it's still going. I mean, I'm just going to let it go until uh, it reaches 13 pounds, and I'm going to shut it down. There's no reason to turn it on right now. Once I reach uh, 13 and a half pounds, I'll shut the valve off here. I'll give it like five minutes to settle out, and then I'll turn it on. 14, 5, we're damn close right now, it's 14, and 
is like 13.8, it'll be 10 pounds. The system holds uh, 12 and a half pounds, so I'll be like two and a half pounds shy of where I need to be. But that's okay, I want to sneak up on the subcooling. What I mean by sneak up is that I want to uh, meter in the uh, refrigerant slowly so that I can sneak up on my um, subcooling. All right, that's uh, right there is a 13 and a half. Okay, a little over 13, uh, you know, six ounces. Uh, so that's 10 pounds I just put in here, and I'm going to stop this for now. It's getting too long. Uh, when I turn the condenser on, I'll power the camera back up again. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. I got. Um, now I turned it on and I'm doing my sub cooling right now remember I left it at around 13 pounds that's where it is um, so I got about 10 pounds of Freon in it's supposed to take around 12 and a half uh, I'm checking my sub cooling right now the pressure is a little over 300 and according to my charts here a little over 300 with a um, sub cooling of 12 the temperature should be around 85 uh, damn these these battery saves are shit I hate it when they, they shut the damn meter off alright so anyway uh, the temperature is 91 so it's 6 degrees higher the actual measured temperature of the liquid line which is there is uh, six degrees higher than the targeted 85 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna meter in some some more Freon and uh, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna try to reach my target temperature on the liquid line okay which is 85 but this might get a little confusing here because as I'm metering in Freon I have to be careful not to put too much in because as I'm metering in Freon the pressure is going to change so I'm going to leave meter in a little bit and then I'm going to watch and see if the pressure changes and if the pressure changes and it will it'll go higher then I have to go back to my chart here readjust everything this is by the way is a uh, uh, what do they call this I forgot what they call it super cool slide rule anyway when the pressure goes up as a result of my adding Freon a high pressure will go up I will have to compensate for that on my slide rule okay so let's say it goes to 320 320 will then 320 will give me a new target superheat of around 88 degrees okay so as I meter in Freon it's going to change the target superheat so I'm going to do that now I'm going to meter in a little bit pressure is going to go up by the way you have to allow a minimum of let's say five minutes okay as you meter in Freon, you want to let the system settle out for about five minutes before you, uh, um, you know, jump to any conclusions. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, um, I metered in about another half a pound there. Three twenty, three thirty, three forty, three twenty-five will be around there. At the target super super cool of uh, twelve, 
the temperature wants to be 92 degrees. And so I'm at 88, 89, I need the meter in a little bit more. So I'm going to do that. Um, no, hang on a second. I'm not going to do that because that's lower than the target temperature. Three. Yeah, it needs to be around 88, and that's where it is right now, 88 degrees. So we're going to leave it right there.